What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name of course is Multikills HD and today in this video I want to talk about something that I just recently read and I wanted to share it with you guys because I think it's a little bit important to get this little message across, I think. So the title of this article I read was called Student Was Suspended, Criminally Charged for a Fishing Knife Left in Father's Car. Now I'm going to go ahead and read you the backstory of this article because, like I said, I wanted to comment on this because I think it's a little bit, kind of a little bit too serious how schools are going anymore. So, a senior at Northeast High School in Clarksville, Tennessee, has been suspended for 10 days and faces a multiple of additional punishments, including criminal charges, because school officials found a knife belonging to his father inside of his car. Now, you may say, why is that, why is that so serious? Well, here's where it gets really interesting, right? The student's father is a commercial fisherman who works on the West Coast. The father left for a week and left a fishing knife inside of the car in between the two seats. Now... The guy said that he knew nothing about it, the boy did. Now, I want to go ahead and say this, because there was a random lockdown of the school, and what they did is they made sure everybody was locked down, they couldn't go outside, and they searched the parking lot with drug-sniffing dogs. Now, his father apparently uses chewing tobacco, and he knew the car was going to get hit, probably regardless. So the guy apparently said he had no problem with them searching it, he already knew that he had the tobacco smell or whatever the case was in there. And while they were searching inside of the car... They found a knife longer than three inches that was lodged in between the seats and even had his father's name on the side of the knife. But yet, because he was in a school zone and yet he had a blade more than three inches long, they started charging him with criminal charges because he had a blade longer than three inches on school property. So here's what I want to say about this article. The student was suspended 10 days and charged with criminal felonies pretty much because somebody else left something in his car. Now, here's the problem with this. A fishing knife, if anybody's familiar with it, is used to skin the fish so that you can eat it. And usually these blades aren't that sharp. They're not pointed at the top, usually. Yes, they, they will cut, but not necessarily they're gonna like go on a mass killing spree. It's impossible with these knives. So here's the thing that I even found even worse. He will not be allowed to return to school for 10 days after getting criminal charges after the 10 day period is up, the guy must attend alternative school for full alternative school students for 90 days after the suspension ends with a chance of going back for another three months. Here's my problem. This is what I see time and time and time again. These schools are following the books. They're having zero tolerance. So all these schools are going after zero tolerance and whatever these issues have, let's say I have a Hello Kitty uh, little cardboard knife out in the parking lot, right? That could potentially be charged with criminal charges because of that, because it says, any knife found, hey, you can go ahead and charge them. Regardless of what it is, if it's sharp, not sharp, plastic, whatever the case is. So here's the problem with this. If the schools would actually go with an individual case and stop following the books 100%, I think we'd be a lot better off, because here's one of the things that happened last year. One of the first graders was eating a Pop-Tart. He turned it into a shape of a gun, pointed it toward another student like he was getting ready, like teasing him or whatever, and he went boom boom or something like that, the student was like kicked out of it or expelled from his school. Another example, a child having a piece of paper that was somewhat resembles a gun gets suspended. Child in possession of a Hello Kitty bubble gun also suspended and in mental evaluation for doing these actions. I think all the schools are too tied up with what is going on around the nation. Yeah, people do go on stabbing rampages. You know the thing is? It happens every single day, and people are only covering it on the news mostly because it what attracts views and attention to make money. That's why all the news stations report on things like this. It's not because they want to or want to share a sad story. They want to make money from the ads. So what are they going to do? Student goes on mass gun spree at a school. And then people see that it's okay to do it because other people are doing it, and they go on and do it themselves. Instead of doing all these things, giving them attention, maybe we should just go by case by case. If you know for a fact that he had no attention to do it, if he had no criminal record, if his dad's a fisherman and he has a fishing knife, what's the big deal? Does that mean if a hunter has a, a hunting knife in the back seat of his car with his hunting equipment, does that mean he's going on a mass killing spree too? I mean, it's so hypocritical now that you do stupid things like this. Hey, if I went on a fishing trip, if I had a tackle box in the car, if I had some pliers in there, does that mean I'm going to go on a killing spree with pliers or a hammer? I mean, if you think about it, a hammer's going to do a lot more damage than a knife would. So, I don't see why a hammer wouldn't be considered a weapon. 
But anyways, guys, that's just my thoughts and opinions. I think this is totally outrageous that schools are doing this now. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name, of course, is Multi Kills HD. I'm out.